what's up programmers welcome back so we are still doing the pattern fever and today we'll be encountering a pattern that is called as the pascal strangle now many of uh, people find this pattern quite tough but if you see this video i guarantee you that this will make it quite simple and you will never forget it now for this pattern uh, you need something uh, some prerequisite right so uh, what is the prerequisite right this pattern is actually similar to this one so this pattern was covered in the last uh, video and i'll not be explaining how to print this pattern i'll be explaining how to get the logic to get uh, to print the pascal strangle so the printing part will actually be taken from our star part and we'll just be putting the numbers and the logic into the stuff so let's look uh, how this is seen on the screen now this is actually same as the previous one where we have a uh, uh, number a number separated by space there is a, uh, there is a space separating every two numbers okay so now how uh, does this actually come now if you if you had uh, uh, studied it in maths now from 1 you start out with 1 you put this one over here you put this one over here and you get the second pattern so now after for the third row you go with this one over here then you put the add these ones over here and you get the two and you put the one over here back again and uh, now you get this one by simply putting this one over here then you add this one and two and you get three then you add this two and one and you get three and one you put down again so the same pattern continues this three and three will add up to give you six three plus one four and so on now this is how you get this pattern okay so now let's look now if you if you guys know about uh, binomial theorem okay so If using that also you can get this pattern now how do you get that using this now if you are a good observer you must have spotted some difference in this diagram right in all the videos the uh, this we started out from 1 but in this case we'll be starting out from 0 now there's a particular reason for this now that I'll be explaining you now this thing is like ncr Now for this you need to know permutation and combinations a little bit basics. So uh, if you guys don't know, uh, please do Google it and you will get a lot of uh, sites which actually explain this quite good. Now for those people who know, we'll continue. Now this NCR. Now you should also know the formula to evaluate it. So as you can see, the N for this. the zero uh, the one that appears before your c is actually your row number and this you have to start from zero so for this row we have one over here now after c because you're starting you're printing the first uh, first one so this is zero now you're printing the second one so this is one so that way you get these all ncrs now if you evaluate them you will actually get back this uh, this only the same pattern So now let's look now how does the logic come in now now this slide shows the logic that is actually used for this now if you start out with 1 okay so you start out with 1 every time now as you can see your first character that is, uh, the first character that is printed is 1 now how do you get the next one now if you are a good observer okay so what i am doing is that i start out with 1 and i multiply it with the row number and i get this so look at this i i if i am on the second row i start out with 1 i multiply it by 2 and i get this multiply by 3 i get this multiply by 4 i get this now any whole number can be divided by 1 it it is same as 4 is same as 4 by 1 right so i just written it down like that now if you see the next boxes to our first uh, the second character that we have printed now you can see something if you are good observer you'll see something over here see this 3 by 1 is actually here 3 by 1 now this 2 by 1 is actually this 2 by 1 okay so now let's see now what is happening actually here is that we start multiplying our first element with 2 by 1 now this 2 is actually the row number and you have to start out with 1 now i'll tell you how this one comes now if you are on the third row you start out with 1 then you multiply it by 3 by 1 and you get the answer that is to be printed over here so same for the fourth row 
okay so now if you go if you want to if you are here okay so you two by one now you want to print the next character now what you need to keep in mind is that now you started out by printing by two now decrement this two by one okay so you'll get one and increment this one so you'll get two so to this number will multiply one by two and we'll get our answer now so I'll take the fourth row and I'll try to explain it uh, more exhaustively so let's look so we start out with one we start out with our row number and one we multiply the number by four by one and we get four by one okay so now what we need to do is we need to decrement this four so we'll get three and we'll increment this one and we'll get two so we'll multiply these two numbers that is four by one into three by two and we'll get our answer now after this we want to print the next character now to get the next character what we need to do is that this three we need to decrement it by one and we'll get our two okay so after decrement uh, after decrementing three we get two and after incrementing this two we get this three so we multiply these numbers and we'll get our output to be printed over here the same continues till we reach actually one so even if you see the first row we started out with one we multiplied it by one because it is a row number and divided it by one so we'll actually get this one only okay so this is how the logic comes in now let's quickly jump into the code i know it's kind of difficult now if you find it difficult please do watch the uh, previous part of the video again till you get the logic clearly take a pen and paper and try solving it for the fifth row okay so if you can get it for the fifth row you have completely got the logic so let's move to our coding part so i have just created a pattern print 7.c and i have written down few things now i have just f these statement are taking the input from the user for how many rows you want us to print and these will be the loop variables uh, now these i have taken from the previous one now we'll just be changing this uh, column star that we used for star printing in the previous with our character okay so now we need to start our coding now for the rows we'll be using the outer loop and now if you remember we start uh, if you remember we start out with the zeroth row okay not from the first row so we start from zero and then go on till our four okay so this is what you actually need to remember because we are starting from zero not from one so let's start from zero and we'll go till row is less than our number of rows to be printed okay so now that we have written our outer loop now let's get on to the inner loops now first that we need to do is we need to print our spaces now i'll be assuming that you watched my previous video and i'll be putting the code over here for printing spaces okay so i have written the code for printing spaces now after this comes our main logic now first thing that you need to remember is that we need to always start our printing character from one so if you see closely we always start out with one okay so this i'll call it as a print character and it will always start out with one okay so i'll call it print char which will start out from one okay and we need two other variables now which are uh, which are those two variables now if you look closely we have to multiply it by certain value and then divide it by certain value to get our next value okay so if you look anywhere over here these arrows you look you are multiplying by a value and also dividing by a value okay so this is what for for what we'll need needing two variables i'll call this as numerator and i'll call this as denominator so i've created two variables that is numerator and our denominator now if you remember look now we start out our numerator by what is our current row so if we are on the fourth row we'll start out with the four if we are on the second row we'll start out with two but our denominator always starts out with one okay so i'll just do that so our numerator starts from our row and our denominator starts by one so now, so now i'll be writing the for loop for printing our numbers 
Now we I'll be using the call cares variable for this loop. Now we'll be starting this from zero. Now the reason for starting this from zero is because the first one the character that you are printing which is z zero c zero or one c zero two c zero or so on. So we have to start this with a zero. So I started it from zero. Now this call care will. So now that we have written our loop. So first thing that we need to do is we need to print our character, right? The first thing that we need to do is we need to print our number. So I'll just put percent d space, and we'll print our print character. So now that we have done this, now to get our next character that is to be printed, we we'll look at this slide. And now you start out with one. and then you multiply it by your numerator and denominator and you get the next print character so we know that our numerator which we have already declared and our denominator which also we have declared we will start out with our previous number say any number so i'll take this one now you need to multiply it by your numerator and our denominator and we'll get our next character that is next number that is to be printed we need to multiply the print character with our numerator and we need to divide it by our denominator okay so now that we have done this we have got our next character but we are forgetting something now if you look every time the numerator is in uh, decreased by 1 okay and our denominator is increased by 1 so you look at any case over here look at this one now you start out with 3 you You have to decrease it by one, so you get two, and you have two over here, and into you need to increase it to three. So let's decrease our numerator by one and increase our denominator by one. So now that we have done this, now the next thing that we need to do is that we need to go to the next line. So we need to put a backslash n. Okay, so now that we have completed our code, now. Let's compile and see if we have any errors. So no errors. So let's execute if we uh, to see if we are getting the proper output. So say I want to print say four rows. So okay, so we have got a proper output. Now let's try for five rows. So as you can see, we have got the output which we desired. Now I agree, this program is. slightly tougher but if you have any doubts please look through the pro, uh, video again i hope that will solve your doubts but still if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section or in the discussion section of our channel that's it for this tutorial please do subscribe to our channel like our videos and if you have any suggestions or any program that you want us to do please put it there uh, put, put it in the in the comment section thank you